Well, good Saturday morning to you folks. Hopefully things are going well with you. I hope you had a good night's rest and you're ready to face the day. Revival today. July 29th, 1928. Salvation is not of ourselves. For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. And that's Ephesians 2, 8, and 9. Monroe Parker had made a profession of salvation when he was eight years old, but was continuing to live a sinful life. He would explain his testimony in later years. I was a sinner, and I knew it. Parker eventually forsook his sinful lifestyle and became a Sunday school teacher in Birmingham, Alabama, but still was unsure of his salvation. Finally, on the morning of July 29, 1928, evangelist Bob Schuler preached the gospel in Monroe, came under the Holy Spirit's conviction. He quickly accepted Jesus as his Savior and shared his testimony with the church. Exactly a year later, on the same day in 1929, he was licensed to preach. Every person knows that they are a sinner. The guilt of our conscience over wrong thoughts and deeds are constant reminders of our shameful nature. We are born in this dreadful condition. Wherefore, in times past, you walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience, among whom also we all had our conversation in times past, in the lust and our flesh, of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature the children of wrath, even as others. And that's Ephesians 2, 2 and 3. Just like Monroe Parker, we can try to change our ways. We attempt to stop sinning and start doing something good. But salvation is not of ourselves. Outside of Jesus Christ, there is no work, reform, belief, or religion that can save us from him. Or from sin, rather. But neither is there salvation in any other name, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. That's Acts 4.12. Has Jesus Christ saved you, or are you trying to save yourself? Well, Satan is a master deceiver. He is a master at um, casting blame and trying to throw guilt on you. If you did something to be guilty of and you feel guilt, that's one thing. If you're remembering the past and, of course, you were guilty then and there was something to be guilty of then, but you have been forgiven of that, I can't make you, but I would beg you to allow God to take it. He's already forgiven you of it. Sure, you feel bad. Sure, you feel guilty. If you could repay, if you could do some kind of penance uh, to, to get forgiveness, you would. So you have. You've asked the Lord to forgive you, and he has. Say, George, how do you know he has? Uh, you have to take it by faith. It is by faith. Without faith, it is impossible to please him. So if you take by faith that he said, Whosoever will, let him come unto me, and I will in no wise cast him out. You are a whosoever will. I am a whosoever will. We come. We confess our sin. We forsake our sin. Now, don't think that if you're living in sin, you continue living in it, uh, that everything's good because it's not. And, of course, there will be guilt. But if you've confessed it and you've forsaken it, he's forgiven it. Don't allow Satan to hold that over your head. I've done this song four or five times on here probably since I first did it, so we'll give it a shot. I, I like the song, don't know that I do it well, but I like the words. Just any day now, His face I'll see. Each time I stop, take the time to look around me. I see the signs of his appearing everywhere. The things he said would 
God to pass are now before us And I can feel a strange excitement in the air Just any day now Our Lord is coming He'll be Just any day now, His face I'll see. There's a longing in my heart for His appearing. I'll gladly leave behind these trials here below. For this journey has been long and I'm so weary. Lord, I feel I'm so much closer home. Just any day now, our Lord is coming. He'll be For you and me, for I've been watching and I've been waiting just any day now, his face I'll see. Lord, I'm thankful that when I go, I have a better place to go to. Better place than what? Better place than here. Far better place than hell. And it's all been prepared by you, and I'm thankful for that. Lord, we love you. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, folks. If you watch tomorrow, you'll see Brother Chris Priest uh, on our church Facebook and YouTube, preaching in the morning for charity, and then Brother Ron Henthorne, Lord willing, uh, tomorrow night, and then I'll be back here on Monday. God bless.